people, welcome back to my channel. So even if it's technically not fall, I don't care. I'm gonna say that it is because you know, I've already got the kale going. I've already had the pumpkin spice latte, therefore it is fall. Okay, but for real, today's going to be kind of just like a casual get ready with me, more of like a fall get ready with me. A chatty version because I haven't made one of these videos in forever. So it definitely just needs to happen. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to be using on my face is my Laura Mercier foundation primer in the shade Radiance. And I'm just gonna put a little dot on that, on that, on my finger, and rub it into my face, just using my fingers. I was gonna say hands and then I decided to say fingers and I got a little bit flustered. So now I'm going in with my foundation from NARS and this is in the shade Fiji Light 5. And I actually take a little bit of like this random darker color foundation and squirt just the slightest on the back of my hand. Oh, it's scary. If you've seen my previous Get Ready With Me, you'll know this thing scares me and it gets everywhere. Then I'm gonna take this and dot a little bit on the back of my head as well. And I just kind of mix the two together as I drop it all over my carpet. Um, just because my fake tan makes my face a little bit darker than this foundation and I need to match the color just a little bit better. So I do that. Hopefully it's not too dark, sometimes it is. So I'm just gonna start by using my fingers and patting that on like my cheeks and then I bring it down to my chin. And I'm using my Morphe sponge, what are you supposed to call it? I don't know, because it's not technically a beauty blender, but like it is. So I'm just gonna use this and blend that into my face. Can I just say that I'm seriously so excited for fall? Fall is my favorite season, I think, ever. And it doesn't last long enough. That's what makes me so sad. I was like, come on, bruh. Maybe it's a little darker than like we're going for. However, I think it works. Okay. Ooh, girl. I don't know why I'm surprised. Every time I drink my coffee, I spill it all over me. Now what am I using? I'm using my Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Concealer in the shade Light Warm. And we're just gonna dot this under my eyeballs, under dim eyes, and my chin, my nose, and my forehead. I was gonna say five head, because it's funny. Um, also, I was really excited about this Anastasia palette. I'm really disappointed with it because it doesn't blend at all. I showed it in a haul video and I was like, oh yeah, I'm so excited about this. And everybody's like, oh, actually, like, it kind of sucks. They were right. So I'm going in with my Morphe M581 brush and my Amazing Cosmetics Translucent Powder just because it is lighter than my Laura Mercier. I love Laura Mercier, however, it does come off pretty white. Now it's time to bronze up that face. So I'm using my NARS bronzer in the shade Laguna and a contour brush by Ulta. And I just dab like the very ends of it, not the whole brush, just like the very end. Uh-oh, I might have made a blob on my head. Okay, now I'm using my Lancome Pink Blush. It's actually the name, just kidding, no it's not. It helps finding the apples of your cheeks because then you don't put too much just like all over your face because I find if I don't smile, it's very easy to make it like just a big blob. And I can't really talk when I'm putting on my blush, so. And then I'll just use the excess and brush on my nose, a little bit of my chin and my forehead and it just helps add a little bit of color to my face. I hate doing my eyebrows on camera because it's just really stressful and it doesn't turn out the way that I want it to. So the brows are done and now it's time for the eyeballs. So for the eyeballs, we're going to be using my Sin Urban Decay Primer Potion and dot that on the eyeballs. Again, I've had this for so long, I don't even, can't even tell you how long I've had it for. So I just dot it on the first eye and I just alternate it back and forth with my finger just to even it out a bit because I don't want a whole lot of primer on my eyes. Okay, so this is kind of a weird step, but I'm going to be using my highlighter and actually put that on the inner corners of my eyes and kind of just blend it out on the whole eyelid. I like using a highlighter just because it's very light. It's not too thick and globby. I find some shimmer eyeshadows are just like super thick and they cover your eyeball way, 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 way too much. But I don't want that. I want just a little bit of shimmer to enhance the eyeball and to make my eyeballs pop. So, using an illuminator or a highlighter, it gets the job done and it looks really, really pretty. It's so natural. It's so hard to find a highlighter that is actually natural. They're usually too thick or too white or too pink. 
And this one is just absolutely flawless. It's beautiful. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna use this kind of short blending brush and I think the shade is Seeking. No, Infamous. We're going with Infamous on my Marc Jacobs palette. But for right now, we really just wanna concentrate that color on the outer corner. Okay, so once I think the color looks pretty good, I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush and blend that out a little bit. And boom goes the dynamite. Next, I'm going to be using my Morphe 505 brush in the shade Seeking, which is this like taupey brown. And we're gonna dot that on the outer corners again, same spot. So going with a black eyeliner, this one is from LA Girl. I am going to start kind of on the outer corners and give myself just the slightest cat eye. It just opens up my eyes a little bit more without going too crazy like I used to do. See how it just like opens up my eyes just a little bit? It like changes the shape just a smidge. So now it's time to curl dim lashes and we'll be good to go. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you what kind of mascara I'm using. This is the Lancome Definicils. This is hands down my favorite mascara ever. I will never go back to anything else. Just kidding, I say that now, but I might. But I'm just saying, this is a really good mascara. Voila. I think that's it. Sometimes that's it. Usually I'll like put on some lip gloss to make my lips popping. Okay, so now it's time to go pick out an outfit and this is for school. So I'm a little extra when it comes to school and I don't have any shame in the game.